can't believe that my Owen is going to be getting married to someone like you. Good evening, Carla. I know that I'm going to be new to the family, but I hope that I can get along with all of you. I don't see there being any way you'll get along with the rest of us here. I'm thinking that your marriage to my son is going to end up worse than how you think it started. And I would like for you to not even think of me as your mother-in-law when you come around me. Because I sure don't think of you as my daughter-in-law. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I'm saying that I do not like the fact that you're marrying my son. I decided that I don't like your marriage today, as a matter of fact. You did? I can understand you being a little uneasy about it, but the wedding is going to be next weekend. Why are you only telling me now that you're against me being married to Owen? I have no reason to be letting my son, of all people, become married to some poor woman like you. What? Did you just call me a poor woman? Like, someone that doesn't have a whole lot of money kind of poor? I'm sure you only want to be married to him for his money, right? I've told Owen already to give you up. But that boy isn't bothering to listen to me about any of it. Even still, I'm not going to let the two of you be married for long. It's not too late yet, so I want you to give up on your marriage to him. How does that sound? I'm not going to give up on being Owen's wife. I'm not sure where you're coming from calling me poor. Since when did I ever seem like the kind of person that doesn't have a whole lot of money? If you're worried about something like that, then please relax and know that you don't have to be worried. And you think there's a good enough reason for me to calm down right now? I cannot allow you to continue asking my son for his money. You think I'm asking him for money? Where are you hearing about all of this from? I'm sure you already know the answer to all of that. I think before your wedding with Owen, you should take the time to sit back and think things through again. Because I am most definitely not going to allow you to have that wedding. Goodbye now. I have no idea what you're going on about right now. I'm going to have a word with Owen about all of this. I just had a small conversation with your mom and she has this idea that for some reason I'm not well off. Did something happen with her to make her think that about me? She was also talking about how I've been borrowing money from you. I'm really not sure where she heard about that from. I see. My mom is always the type that lets her imagination run wild and really get to her. I think she's just a little confused is all. Perhaps having her one and only son leaving the house after becoming married is really starting to get to her. And because of that, she started to overthink things too much. And that led to her believing things that aren't true. So that's what all of this is about? Well, that makes a lot of sense now. I understand how it must feel to have only one child. I'm the same way to my parents, as they stopped after only having me. But your house happens to be completely different from the house I've been raised in. I'm actually so very happy to have become so close to you and your family. And I'm excited to see them again at the wedding! What do you mean my family is different from yours? I'm not really sure why you're happy, but... I'm glad you're happy being around my parents. So this means we can go on with having the wedding next weekend and won't have to make any changes to it? I wonder if your mom is doing okay. Do you think I should say anything to her about it? No, you can just leave her be. Let me take care of her and her wild imagination. I'm already used to her and all this crap she has going on, so I can manage it somehow. I see. Then... Please and thank you. I would really like for everyone to get along with one another by the time of the wedding, as it would make everything a lot more fun for us. Have you come around to realizing what I've been saying this whole time? I'm happy I waited to come here around the same time you did in order to get you like that. <laughs> You're never to come around, my son, and I again, you moneyless whore. Do you understand me? Did you really just go through with punching me in the gut over your thoughts of me not having any money? What the hell is going on inside that head of yours? I never thought that you'd become so bad that you'd resort to violence with me. This is the first time in my life that I've ever had to meet someone as off-putting as you. 
I'm not going to let you get away with something like that. Go ahead and say whatever you'd like about me. I just want to make sure that this wedding is canceled before it gets started. I'm sure it's not going to be happening now, though, right? You actually thought I'd let my son marry a poor woman like you? I am really shocked by this, Carla. To think that you'd get so upset like that without ever actually coming around to understanding the person I am and what my position is. You're the one who appears to not understand a thing about us. Well, if me having punched you in the gut of yours has taught you anything, it should be about the kind of person you really are to us. So give up. Never come around my son again. I am never going to let a parasite that wants to feed off my son's money have any of it. And I am not going to allow this wedding to go on anymore as his mother. Cancel all of this right now. Is that really what you want me to do? Of course it is. And you're going to cancel it whether you agree with me or not. I'll find a way to get this whole event canceled. Well, you don't have to do that as I fully understand what you want now. I'll handle the wedding and have it canceled for all of us. So please just stay away from me as I go and do my thing. I'll be making sure all those that are already here know to go home and then we won't have to disappoint any more of our guests today. And as for Owen, I'm no longer going to be bothering with him. I don't want to see you ever again, Carla, so this wedding is off. Are you happy with all that? If you can do all that for me, then I'll forgive you for ever laying your filthy hands on my boy. Tell him he's no longer your husband and cancel all of this. And never appear in front of our faces ever again. Understood. I am completely fine with all that. And just to make sure he never talks to you again, I'm going to have him block you on his phone. Actually, better yet, could you be so kind as to block him on your phone as well? I don't want you to even talk with him anymore because the next time you do, I'm not going to be as calm as I've been today. Understood. I will do everything and all that you ask me to do. But can you promise me one thing before I go? What is it? Never come around me again yourself, you awful criminal. What did you just call me? Now I'll be going. Have a good one, Carla. Hey, why aren't you answering your phone right now? You have been getting calls from both me and my son all day long. Hurry up and answer one of us right now. I have no reason to be talking to you both anymore. You told me to block Owen's number on my phone, right? So I did just that and haven't noticed any calls coming from him. This is what you wanted me to do, right? This is not about any of that. This is about me making a huge mistake. Is that right? Did you finally go and listen to what your son has been saying to you? That's probably why you're freaking out right now and have been trying to get in touch with me again. You learned about who I really am. Owen has always known about who I am, but you never seemed to care like he did. He and I have been doing our best to hide the real me in order to protect myself and the wedding. But recently, things with you have been really out of control, haven't they? Well, you were finally told by Owen who I really am, and that happens to be the daughter of a very wealthy CEO. So, he really wasn't lying to me. Why did you guys choose to never tell me the truth? Had one of you just told me sooner, then I would have never started calling you some moneyless whore like before. The reason I didn't tell you is in order to keep those that try and come after my family's money away. Keep them away? But if you had told me about your true position sooner, things like yesterday would have never happened between us. What do you mean by things like yesterday? You're telling me that if you knew I was the daughter of a CEO, you would have never punched me in the stomach? Oh, that's right! Is that so? So then, what you're telling me is that in your mind, it's okay to go around punching the poor? Gotcha. You are one hell of a monster, Carla. You don't have to sit there calling me a monster. It's rude. Well, now that I've had time to talk with both you and Owen, uh, there's no longer a misunderstanding between all of us. Do you think you guys can have your wedding next weekend? Excuse me? What the hell are you going on about now? Yesterday, we had that wedding of yours canceled without any thought. But now that I've had a chance to learn about the real you, I think you and Owen can have that wedding next week. How does that sound to you? 
What are you talking about? <laughs> Owen and I are not together anymore. I did everything you asked me to, and I blocked Owen for good. Well, oh, that's not a problem, though. You can unblock him now and get back to being a couple. I would really like to think of you as my own daughter now, so please start talking to him again. What? Your behavior has done a 180, and now you want me back together with Owen again? What do you want out of all this? Let me tell you something, Carla. Your son was the one who wanted to be married to me for my money. Owen wanted you for your money? I had made sure to hide a lot of things from everyone about my family. But he went ahead and took a delve into my family himself. And after seeing that my family happens to have a lot of money, he went wild and started spending all the money he had on things he never really needed, thinking I'd be there to bring in the money after the wedding. After he learned that I'm the daughter of a CEO, he wanted the two of us getting married as soon as possible. Well, I found out about all that not too long ago, and I am pissed. Well, uh, your wedding being cancelled and all that has really pissed Owen off as well. He's so upset with everything right now that I can't manage to calm him down any. He even came after me, his own mother, and hit me, causing me to feel some real pain. So please, Stacy, you're the only one who can stop my son from going on this rampage after losing his wedding. Please don't tell me that you don't want to be married to him anymore. Jeez, you both are complete idiots. <laughs> what? I have nothing to do with any of that now, and you were the one that wanted the wedding canceled in the first place, right? I was just being kind and obeyed your commands yesterday. You should be thankful that I listened to you and everything went to plan. But this is not at all what I had planned on. I was confused at the time and didn't know a thing about the real you, Stacy. And at the time, I had really wanted to be married to him as well, but things started to feel off about things with him. And before I knew it, I could tell that he wasn't with me out of the love he had for me, but something else. But after having you go on and on about how I was the one wanting to marry him for his money and later punching me in the gut over it, I realized what was really going on. I'm going now. Wait a second, Stacy. I made a big mistake. I made a terrible mistake and started to just assume you had no money. And because of that terrible mistake, you assaulted me. Perhaps the apple really doesn't fall that far from the tree then. I assumed that all that money that my son was having to pay was because of you and not him. I'm his mother and I never wanted to believe that it was my own son who was going out and recklessly spending his money. But I know the truth now very well. He's been the one spending all the money. And he was hiding all that from me as well. Luckily though, one of my dad's employees found out about his debt. I am so sorry for asking you to cancel your wedding like that yesterday night. But now that we're all open about things and know the truth, let's have that wedding for real this time. You said that you're the daughter of a CEO who's very well off, so having a second wedding should be a piece of cake, right? Do you think you can hurry all this up and put together another wedding for you and Owen? What kind of games are you trying to play with me today? What? How many times am I going to have to say this in order for you to understand me? Things between Owen and I are over. Things are over? What the hell do you mean, though? I'd like to ask you a lot about that as well. <laughs> what the hell do you mean with all of that crap? Owen and I are finished. It's over. He and I are no longer a thing anymore. The wedding was canceled yesterday, and he and I are no longer going to be married. No way. Oh, were you and him not going to get married to one another over the feelings you both had? We had planned on being married based off our love for each other, but those feelings I had for him are long gone now. All because of you, Carla. <laughs> that wedding was supposed to be a huge deal for my family, and my dad was putting in $100,000 to make sure it was perfect for Owen and I. What? But because you wanted it canceled so badly that you would punch me, it went bye-bye. Isn't that wonderful? Wait, a hundred thousand, uh... For that wedding? Oh, what the hell? Do weddings like that really cost that kind of ridiculous amount of money? Well, they do when you're the one and only daughter of a very successful CEO. He thought that was the perfect amount to spend on my wedding. 
But my dad was against me getting married to Owen for a long time before the wedding came about, so I'm a bit surprised myself that he was willing to spend that much. At first, he would always get on about me finding myself a better man, but no matter how much he tried to turn me away from Owen, I wanted to be married to him. Owen was the man for me, and I wanted to be his wife. But in the end, we learned a lot about you and him, and things changed. I really should have listened to my dad a bit more and gave up on Owen. <laughs> but it's all in the past now. I think quite the opposite, actually. I think that Owen would be the perfect man for you. I think you being married to him would be the best thing for everyone. Well, whether you want me to be with him now or not, you were the one that ruined the chances of me ever being his wife. I'm glad that things ended up this way for everyone. So, you're being serious about not marrying my son then? And you're saying it's all because of me? You might think of it as being your fault, but I'm thankful for what you did. <laughs> I've been trying to apologize to you for all that, though, about what happened yesterday. I'm so sorry. I'm asking you to please marry my son for me now. If you don't take him as your husband, who knows what he's going to do to me? Well, I couldn't care less what he has in store for you. And hearing that he's being violent towards you really makes it so that I don't want to be around you both. <laughs> What a joke of a man he is, being violent with his own mother like that. Ah, one other thing. Since you were the one that wanted the wedding canceled, and it was in the end for your sake, there is going to be a fee. Canceling a wedding doesn't come free of charge, so someone's going to have to pay up. What? There's a cancellation fee? And all of that, you're going to have to pay for. And there will also be the money I get from you for assaulting me yesterday as well. Wait a second. How much more are you going to make me suffer for all of yesterday? Well, I'm not doing all of this in order to make you suffer or anything. I just want you to have to think about everything you've done to me yesterday on my wedding day. Do you think what I've been telling you has all been wrong or something? Am I not allowed to fight back at you after you punched me in the gut? You're not wrong about anything, but don't you think you're going a bit too far with all of it? I'm just acting in a way I find perfectly fine after what's happened to me. And since you did assault me, the police are going to have to get involved in handling that. I hope you're ready for when they come looking for you. Stacy, calm down, please. I'm so very sorry about all of that. Uh, just calm down now and think all of this through again. I'm very calm right now. And this is all the outcome of me thinking about it with a level head. Perhaps you should have been thinking a bit more yourself before you acted out. And so, with all of that, I'd like for you to have your son back, you moneyless idiot. <laughs> in the end, the relationship between Owen and I really did come to an end. And in his anger because of it, Owen went ahead and forced his mom to have to pay for all the things he bought. A little while after that, I was introduced to a very outgoing man who my dad set me up with to make sure he wouldn't be into me for my money. We are planning to get married really soon and move into a house that we'll be buying with our savings instead of relying on all my dad's money for it. Unlike the life I'll be living now in happiness, Carla has been left with a lot of money that she now owes to many different people. And it seems the only hope she has for herself now is to find a job and start working for the rest of her life. I think she really should have thought her actions through a bit more before acting on them, but it's too late for anything like that now. I just hope that with this new road she's going to be on, there is no more physical fighting between her and her son. <laughs>